Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how to install extra seals as well. I got just the guy, Seth Burchill. He has been here before. Seth, welcome back. It's good hey, thanks, to have Tom. you. thanks, Tom. That's correct. So, you can see here, this is gonna be the bearing internally. We're gonna start with a triple lip seal on either side of the bearing internal to the housed unit. Okay. From there, we build our sealing solution externally with through shaft seals and additionally we have caps if the shaft allows for a cap. If the shaft is longer than our, our cap measurements, we just put another through shaft seal on the other side. That's not a problem. So the entire seal solution internally here is you're going to start with a triple lip seal which gives you three seals. Mm -hmm. The cap itself is going to give you your fourth seal. Uh, filling the cavity of that cap with grease, as you can see, all of our caps have grease zerks. Okay. So that's going to give you your fifth seal. And in the case of our urethane cap, we have a triple lip seal on the ID, which is going to give you effectively eight seals. You're not done yet, are you? No. Additionally, uh, to our flanges, we have a sealing solution as well. A common mm -hmm. industry problem is sealing the back end of a flange due to the cavity in the back of the flange. So what happens in application is contamination develops in the cavity of this flange, it builds up and it works its way into the bearing. We can seal this one of two ways. We have a urethane plate, we can just mount right into that cavity okay. and mount the bearing up flush into the application. And if we have room, and typically we do in screw conveyor applications and others, we can actually put an auxiliary steel plate, which is machined to fit in the bearing there and completely seal that off with a double Teflon seal on the ID, giving us a sealing solution for flange bearings as well. That's how you do it. That's the Timken V-Lock set right there with the eight-point sealing solution. And that was Seth Burchill with Timken. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Add those to your toolbox. What a nice guy. You know what? That's why I have the best toolbox and trunk in the industry. That was Seth, and if you have any questions about anything he did here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll get you a representative on the phone. You can talk to them or you can go by and see them and they're gonna help you out. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application. Also, as you see, I got a pair of very nice gloves now from Seth because that's the proper PPE that we needed to wear while doing our demonstrations today. We had our glasses and our gloves on. PPE is Priority number one. Number two, watching more MI How To videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.